and welcome to New Blue FX Tips and Techniques. I'm Marcus Johnson for New Blue. Today we're going to be taking a look at the vignette plugin available as part of New Blue FX's Video Essentials 2 collection. You can use vignette to add a soft border to your video in many different shapes and sizes. I like to use vignette as a finishing effect, adding it to my clip after I've already done the color correction to give it that extra little bit of polish and interest. But the great thing about Vignette is you can use it for all kinds of effects. From the subtle, to the dreamy, to something perfect for your next spy feature, or even that collection of videos from your high school rock band. Okay, let's get started. I'll go ahead and add the Vignette effect to my clip. And as you can see, it has an immediate effect. Now I can open up the control panel, and there's a wide variety of presets to choose from. You might very well find exactly what you're looking for. But we're going to go ahead and reset it to none to start with a clean slate. Now the first thing we have to choose is the shape that we want. You have a rectangle, an ellipse, or if you're doing maybe a wedding video you might want to use the heart shape. We're going to stick with a rectangle for the time being. Right now width and height are both set at 100 and you're not seeing anything. As I drag the width slider down you'll start to see it cropping in on the sides. And same goes for the height. So I'll just drag these down so you can see them in the frame. Okay, now this is a good way to set your area of interest, what you want to be highlighted in the video. So we're going to close it in on the boaters here. The rotation slider can be used to change the shape. We can make a diamond here if we want to, or we could even keyframe it to have a rotating vignette. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with a regular rectangle. Now we've got our shape set. Now we'll go down to the edge controls and the width slider controls how soft the vignette is. So you see I drag it up, it starts to soften and spread out and you're seeing more of the picture underneath it. So I think right about there is a good setting. I think for right now that's good. Now we'll come down to the last option, soft focus. And as you can see, the more I turn up the soft focus, the more it starts to blur around the edges of the vignette. And you can create a pretty interesting effect with this, but for right now, I'm going to leave that off. In addition, you can also make the edge of your vignette grainy. Now, if I turn up the grain amount, you'll start to see the edges are getting grainier around the picture. And if I adjust the grain size, you can see it's going from fine particles until we get these big splotches. Now, as I step through the clip, you'll see that the grain isn't moving. Now, if you're looking for a frosted window effect or want to make it look like you're staring through an old grimy window, this might be exactly what you're looking for. But if you'd rather have it look like an old film, all you have to do is come back to the control panel and there's a button that says flickering. You turn that on, all of a sudden, as we step through, you'll see the grains moving now, and it'll give you more of a film grain look. Now, for this particular project, I don't want the grain on the vignette. So I'll go back to the control panel, turn off the flickering, drag the grain amount back down to zero, and I think that looks pretty good. Now, so far in this demonstration, the background we've had behind our video has just been a solid black, but we could just as easily make it pink or green or blue or any other color that you wanted. To change the background color, all we have to do is go into our effect editor. Underneath the frame section, there'll be an option that says color. Click on the color picker, and then you can choose any color you want. I'll go ahead and pick a nice dark green. And as you can see, the area around our video immediately changes to green. Now, with vignette, you don't have to have just a solid color for your background. One of the really interesting things you can do is place a moving video behind your vignette. I'll go ahead and change the background color back to black to make it easier to see our background video. I've moved our foreground video up to a higher video track to give us room to place the background in. For this example, I'm going to use an animated graphic background. Place it on a lower video track. We'll open up the effect editor. And as I lower the opaque slider, you'll start to see the moving background become visible. And there you have it. For more information about Vignette and other Video Essentials 2 filters, or to see more tips and techniques tutorials, 
just go to www.newbluefx.com. This is Marcus Johnson saying thanks for watching and learning about New Blue FX.